Okay, so good evening, everyone, once again. Welcome to the Crypto Software Space. Tonight is going to be and on Pratica, and we are going to be having a general discussion, but I'm going to be starting with how we can trade as a good trader on a um, centralized exchange. You know, like we, like when we started our whole um, lessons, we, we invited someone who, you know, we invited someone who was working for an exchange if we quite remember i think i will have to i'll bring the guy up back to our space he's uh working for coin store exchange i'll try to also bring him back so that he can tell us more information from where he stopped that or that time and i can also still bring like maybe five other top guys from different exchange to come and speak with us on the group uh i worry that but you know let us do our own thing personally before we bring external people uh, to come speak on our platform so um before i proceed uh tonight i'm going to be using this exchange for um for illustration and you know to also see how it is done so i'm going to start sharing my screen uh just for us to see uh, information on the exchange I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using um, MEXC exchange because this is a type of exchange that allows you to uh, uh, be able to trade some some tokens that are actually not available on other exchange. Maybe new projects that are, that you need to quickly trade on and are not available on big. Um, exchanges you can always find them on MEXC exchange. It is not like um, a recommendation for you to use, but it is just what I'm using for illustration tonight. So you can either prefer to use your Binance, you can prefer to use your Gate or Tire exchange, buy bits. We have numerous number of exchange. We have Coin Store. We have um, OKX. So there are a lot of them out there but you know just pick the one that you feel comfortable to use so if you feel like registering on mex exchange i'm going to be sharing my screen now so if you feel like this is mex exchange if you feel like registering on their platform i'm going to you know screenshot and send to the group you can use my refire uh code uh that is if you are trying to register in on their platform so let me quickly do that so i don't waste our time so i'm going to send it to the group i'm already sharing my screen so i'll send it to the group and yeah uh you can have the code and yeah you can have the code and then you can just register if you Want to re you want to open MEXC exchange, but um, if you are not interested in using MEXC exchange, you can use any exchange of your choice. All of them are having almost similar interface, and you know they perform the same option actually. So I'll stop sharing my screen right now. I want to uh, prepare my screen for us to be able to uh, check on the last trade that. I drop in the group. So, I mean, sorry, the last signal that was dropped in the group. So we try to see, okay, what happens when we are talking about signal being dropped in the group? How do I have to navigate around? What are the things I have to do when I receive such uh, signal information? So before I continue, let me try to, uh, uh, let me try to see if we can still give notification for people who are not joining the the call yet for them to join okay so the notification i've been sent one more time then that will be the last one for tonight so people who are not joining now can see that okay so if i just joining us welcome and yeah let's continue with what we are trying to check so if you are able to um look at the last a uh, signal that was dropped that was like uh trying to match um match a signal with ethereum and usdt 
So let me try to look for the signal. Ethereum and USDT signal. Okay, so that was just like shorting Ethereum. So don't forget, the, there was a time that uh, when we launched our project, I mean, this platform, we discussed about shorting and longing. Um, um, shorting and longing. So we need to understand. So I, I will start sharing my screen again. So we need to understand what it means to short a trade and what it means to long a trade. So um, these are things that we've discussed already in the group, but for the sake of, you know, reference, uh, just to reference it and just to also make sure that everyone is uh, being carried along. So let me quickly look at where we we're talking about it because that time when we enter, uh, uh, when we try to, you know, um, when we try to drop a signal then, which was when the market closed down, which the right thing to do then was to short a trade. So that was when we discussed it. So now if you are looking at my screen, I'm currently at uh, where we mentioned that we should learn sometimes today what is long and what is short in crypto trading. So in crypto trading strategy, when you long an asset token coin, it means that you are expecting such token coin or assets to go up. You are expecting it to rise. You are expecting an increase in price. You are expecting a pump. That means, for example, if you are trying to uh, go to future trading and you want to long um, Bitcoin. So longing Bitcoin means that you are trying to predict that, okay, uh, in the next coming days, Bitcoin is going to increase in value. It's going to have an increase in price. That means, for example, Bitcoin right now, I'm going to open my max exchange. So Bitcoin now is at 29,758.05. So if you are going into future trade to long BTC, it means that you are saying that in the next coming day, BTC can be 30,000, it can be 31,000, it can be 35,000. But you know, doing this, you have to be very, very careful. You have to know how to manage your risk. And we are coming back to that so that you don't lose all your funds in future and or probably in your normal spot trading because um there are ways of making sure that you play your game very smart despite the fact that uh there are a lot of manipulation in crypto but there are still ways where you can be very smart with the way you play with your money so like for example for me i don't like to get them tempted i mean sorry tempted i don't like to be tempted on exchange so i don't put a lot of funds on exchange to trade money with, except if I'm very, very interested and I see that I need to, you know, jump on a signal. That is when I send them, send money to the exchange and then trade with it. Otherwise, I know how to play my game very well when it comes to trying to manage my risk. So likewise, uh, everyone here, I will also advise that we do the same thing. So what is short? when it comes to shorting an asset or a token or a coin in crypto, it means that you are expecting the price to go down. You are expecting downward movement on the price. So let's go back to the next exchange. If you see, this is Ethereum stroke USDT. We are saying that, okay, let's short Ethereum stroke USDT. It means that we are expecting the value. The coin value is 188. For right now, so I'm expecting that I can still go down more than this. That is what is meant by shorting Ethereum. So, otherwise, um, if my prediction is not coming through, then that means I can be at the edge of losing my funds. So, that is what we need to understand by shorting and longing in crypto. So, now look at since. Um, come in. Do we have anyone who have something to say? Okay, good. Um, so looking at our last trade signal, which was this? Um, coming. Okay, okay. So now, 
looking at our last trade signal, which was okay. We have okay, cool. So we have um it's the Ethereum stroke USDT, and what are we supposed to do with it? We are supposed to like predict um uh, it to have a down a down flow in its price, like a downward movement in its price. That is the prediction. And what do we need to know? Um, what we have to know is that we need to check our entry. I'm not really talking about the reason why we are shutting now. I'm talking about uh, the information that we are supposed to take from this signal to set up a trade um, strategy. So um, the, the, the direction for this shutting of this trade means that if you want to enter this trade, you have to make sure that you enter within 1,955 to 2,085. So let me go back to my next exchange. If you check this now, then it's, it's more or less like you can't really enter again. And if you are a very expert trader, you can still enter, but that means you have to cut your loss. Like you have to set a very minimal stop loss uh, limit for it. So in this type of trade, if you are entering late, it is supposed to um, give you a direction that you won't be making a lot of profit from it because you already missed the entry point. So for me, there's no really much point for you to go into it. So um, when this was like uh, being dropped, it was around 2005.9. So um, if you check the entry points now, it is not matching up with the current um value of ethereum if you check the time that we dropped it it is more or less like some uh hours ago so now the target is like we are trying to give it a short term or a mid-term evaluation uh of price movement so one of the predictions have come to pass as I mean you are trying to go for a short time you could have just set the stop limit or stop loss to either between 1935 to 1910 or to 1880 or to 1840 if it has to be into 1880 then your prediction is not going to be accurate that means if you have entered the trade from this entry point which was 1955 when it was dropped then right now and you have a stop loss at 1880 then you bear profit already and uh when you had sorry um not stop loss like this should be your take profit your take profit will be at um 1889 so by this time you'll be a profit and you can withdraw your profits while it is being set automatically so otherwise uh you can just set your stop loss to be at 2159 so this shows that okay what is the distance of the price change that you want um the calculation of your loss to stop at so like for example i'm going to show us a real example of this thing i'm going to enter the trade now set some strategy i'm just going to do a kind of spot trading immediately so we all see what happens when we set strategy on a trade. So I'm just going to be using that as an example. Let me see if I'm still sharing my screen. Okay, cool. So I'm going to be using that as an example. And yeah, we can just look at it together. So we can still pin this for everyone who is still interested or catching up with us very lately. So like now, so right now I can't use this strategy that we've sent into the group. I have to create a new strategy for this new um new approach that I want to do. Okay, what do I have to do first? What I have to do first is I have to send in money to my wallet. So it can be my USDT. So I can just go to deposit. Then maybe from anywhere I want to deposit the money. I pick the network. Uh, for example, maybe I want to use Tron, then I copy the address. If I don't want to use Tron, I go back, 
I probably want to use BB20. Yeah, it's 20. I just pick the address. Then, yeah, I copy it. Then find a way to deposit it to my wallet. I mean, to my centralized exchange. Otherwise, I don't know how they do P2P on it and makes exchange but if you are quite familiar with peer-to-peer -peer transaction it is much more easier to get it done on binance exchange so that is why i said binance exchange might be the best for you uh, but the reason why i'm using mexc exchange is because i am on vpn and binance won't work properly on vpn so um that is why I'm using this as an example. So right now, you can see that even if I'm trying to short Ethereum USDT, it's still going to give me some profit. So now, that means if uh, if we are shorting Ethereum, it's going to work for us. So now, let's quickly try to short Ethereum. Uh, because let me see, I'm I'm not actually like liking to you know check on trade analysis on. Uh, cryptocurrency because cryptocurrency is very very manipulated i mean it's so manipulative that you can't be so sure of what is going to happen on the chat unlike if you are doing some other type of um, exchanges like maybe forex which are still a little bit predictive but for cryptocurrency it is very very hard so because you know this ethereum that we're using is dependent on bitcoin bitcoin is dependent on uh big big guys on on uh reward reward um i don't say it industry so it is so hard to know what the movement is going to be uh, but it can still be we can still determine some other coins with the movement of bitcoin that is the only thing that is still so uh, predictive. Like if Bitcoin is going down, all this other coin follows its trend, except otherwise uh, some token that are just like uh, pegged to stable tokens or stable coin. So um, how much do I have on my spot wallet? I have like $17. Then I'm going to move ten dollar to my future to account so let's do a transfer or uh, from my from my from which wallet to okay so from my spot then i can just switch it so from spot to futures so don't forget there is something that happens when you go to future because we have different type of mode if you set it wrongly there are some mode which we continue to even get to you know bring in funds from your future account so you have to be very careful just put in the amount that you are ready to lose on your future otherwise leave the other amount on your spot account until you understand how to use future correctly you can see that on my spot account i have 17 dollars and how much am i ready to lose i'm ready to lose about 10 dollars so that is why I'm moving just ten dollar to my future account. If I'm not ready to lose it, I'm going to leave it in my spot account. So remember that any money in your future account that you want to use for future trading, you are presuming accepting the fact that you are about to lose it. So but being a good trader, you shouldn't lose that much. You should have a precaution uh strategy and techniques in place to have a very good profit trading so now let me do my transfer so i've transferred like um ten dollars to my future account so immediately it takes me to future to start trading so you can see how this their app work it is so dangerous that you have to be so careful so i haven't even set my strategy it's taking me to future trading to start trading so let me just take my wallet again and confirm how much i have in my spot wallet i have seven dollars in my future how much am i having i have 9.99 dollars so that means um i have 9.99 dollars to do some future trading then let's carefully navigate to future trading then i pick on the token i want to trade on with so now if i'm picking on the token i want to trade with 
let me search for that one that we drop in the group eth usdt so yeah ETH USDT Perpetual. So I can click on it. ETH USDT Perpetual. Yeah. Okay, good. So now the next thing to do is we have to set our strategy here. This is where you have to be very, very careful and you don't rush uh into trade. You don't rush things. Look at the market movements, look at everything, and make sure that you are also very fast with whatever you are trying to do. So right now the market movement is saying that. The price is going down and yeah i want to short right so now what i have to do is let me try to uh increase my price okay so i want to use all my money that i have on my on my um what is it called i, I want to use all the money i have on my future accounts to short this trade so now i've done that what do i have to do next i have to set my Take profit and stop limit. So don't forget, take profit means that I'm setting it that um, I'm setting it to to be in a sequence that okay when the price reaches this amount, I want to take profit and get out of this trade. And we have SL. This one here, you can see that I check the box. If I don't check the box, what I do first is I try to you know move this slider to tell and you know pick the maximum amount i want to use for uh shorting this trade so what is the next thing to do i want to pick on the tp and sl that is there the tp makes uh take profit so at what particular stage do i want to take profit so let me set it that i want to take profit when the trade comes to one eight eight zero don't forget that me setting this i'm setting it in such a way that i'm saying that the price will go down and if the price is going down it means that i'm shorting the trade so um what is my stop loss my stop loss is that um i want to set it in a way that when this 1880 that i've predicted is not going in the right direction that i want I want to set a limit to the amount of um, risk. I mean, the amount of loss that I can take. So what is my stop loss or stop, or stop limit can be? So what I'm going to set is, let me just set one, um, one, it's, I'm supposed to be using the trade, um, uh, the trade chart to carefully look at this but you know let's just use this one as an example we are not doing much technical analysis on this yet so let me just put it at one eight eight nine so this is a very very you know low risk trading that okay i don't want to lose much and i want to quickly come out of this trade so let me look at it if this is going to work for me again yeah so let me just open the shot so that we can quickly see the result before we leave this video call tonight all right i'm opening the shot there yeah i confirm so i already set it to be at market price so right now immediately i set it it is already okay so it's telling me that i'm on green right now you can see it here so that means my shot is actually coming like my prediction that the price is going to come down is coming and i'm seeing this green light here so assuming that it is not working for me it's going to be showing some red so let's see um i can leave it for some minutes so right now i am on plus 0 0.1 um dollar profit which is just like uh one percentage so let's see what happens uh in some few minutes and if you are looking at it and probably you have reached um, a particular position that you want to quickly close your trade and take your profit. You can just click on this flash close that is here. But most of the time, I think flash close will let you sell at a lower price. That is intentionally done by most exchange. They don't want you to go out with your maximum profit, so they still 
try to do some market making to make sure that you are selling at maybe you wanted to sell it at hundred dollar they will force you to flash close and send, sell it at maybe 98 97 dollars so that is just one of, one of the strategies some exchanges use and majorly all exchange they use that strategy to make sure that you don't go out with your maximum profit so right now i'm at loss and it is showing right what is happening when i'm at loss uh you can see the way i'm trading i'm not trading with panic why because i already know uh how much i can lose on this trade and i already know um how much profit i can make you can see i'm not so greedy so don't let me forget something you have to check on which type of leverage are you trying to pick always make sure that you take a very low le leverage like for example i'm just using 20x so a 20x leverage will make sure that okay um the distance between uh the profit my, my profit margin and loss margin is not too much so in that case it is giving me a lower risk uh to take so for now uh let's just leave it at using a very low leverage so don't forget we want to reduce your risk also concentrate on the leverage you are using and you know this time around we'll still come back to you know what it means to use an isolated margin mode and cross margin mode but for tonight i'm using an isolated margin mode we'll come back to that maybe on our next class so let's just focus on how i've been able to enter this trade and what is going to be the future of what i've done here so right now i'm on red and there's no need to panic don't forget my take profit or stop loss have been set and this is it so if i'm going to take profit i think it should be it should be at 1880 and if i'm going to stop my loss it should be at so right now um something has happened and what happened is that i think yeah my stop loss um triggered what happened my prediction did not go as it should ethereum have crossed 1889 just some seconds ago so now you can see why this is useful and let's see how much i lost on this trade uh yeah so let me go back to my future trading so you can see why this is useful it, it is useful because i entered the trade with 9.9 .9 dollar and when i set my stop loss to be very minimal i'm just losing about 0.3 dollar so that is how to be a very good trader like you make sure that even if you are going to be losing you are not going to be losing that much and if you are going to be making profit you are going to be making huge profit so like for example if my prediction was supposed to have worked one thing i can do is then come to this future again and then i can try to increase my take profit you understand i can try to increase my trick profit and if my prediction is also working correctly i can always try to minimize my loss like for example maybe um when my first leg of trick profits of course i can always try to you know change it and target more profits so these are something very possible it's because uh i can't really wait on monitoring this trade for a longer time i've actually allowed us to practice it and check different things that will happen so right now let's still take another risk this will be the final one we want to take another risk of um let me try to mute Starbucks. Starbucks, i have to meet you now i said we have a question for us okay good okay yeah so sorry i'm very very sorry it was not intention it was a mistake all right no no problem so i hope you are with us all right good so now let's just continue with um what we're trying to check and let's give opportunity for other other member to you know join us so um don't forget that me being able to reduce my risk to minimal risk 
it's saving me of the amount of money I'll be losing. So um, Azumi is a long trade that I want to be for a long time. I can set the distance to be so far and, you know, monitor it properly. But for the sake that we just want to be here and quickly see what's going to happen on that trade, that is why I'm just setting it like that. So let's see how long in a trade can work out for us. So right now, um, this is the one of the reasons why I said cryptocurrency is very hard to predict. When you are coming into the future of cryptocurrency, you have to be at a lot because, you know, just make sure that you reduce the loss that you can incur on cryptocurrency trade. So let me try to see if I can quickly long this trade again. So now I go in with all my money again, 9.478. But this time around, if I'm longing, I'm predicting that the price is going to go up. So when do I want to take my profit? I'll set it to be 1889. I think so far so good. It have not really passed this amount. Then my stop loss can be when it comes to one eight eight five. This will also quickly trigger, but you know, let's risk it. And with this type of distance, I can quickly, you know, make profit or lose out on it. So let's see. So I open a long. Confirm. Yeah, good. So immediately I opened my long. I'm already on loss. What is happening? That means my prediction is not working correctly. Um, I entered the trade at one eight eight point three. Yeah, I should be at profit now because it is at one eight eight point seven. So you can see the trade, and I'm already at profit right now. So let's pray it quickly get to one eight eight point nine. Then it should trigger. Yeah, good. So you can see that I'm coming. What happened? Yeah, that means my prediction came true. 1889. So correct. So that was like a successful trade with profit. That is on a just like marginal marginal scale level, which is not like I'm trying to, you know, make big profit on that. So I entered with 9.49 and came out with 9.69. So this could have happened the same way but you can see the way i've been able to minimize my loss and you know trade very smart uh set my strategy properly and this is one of the best way to be a very good trader you just look at it that okay i can't lose more than one dollar if i'm taking ten dollar into future i don't want to lose more than one dollar and you set it like that and if you notice that you lose the first time you lose the one dollar the first time. You 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 lose the second time. What I would advise for you to do is just close the app and leave it for that day. Then that means that day is not a very good day for you to trade. Just close it. Then consider it that okay, you've lost two dollar on trying to make profit for that day because as a trader, you need to understand that there are some days you make profit. There are some days that are meant for you to lose. So when you understand the fact that that day is not really a good day for you to trade because sometimes a lot of things might affect you when you are trying to trade maybe emotional imbalance you might not be like very very emotional stable for that day you might be uh uh psychological psychologically attached to the trade which is very dangerous you have to you know be able to trade confidently you can see the way i'm doing it i'm not panicking that oh it's not going up oh it's not coming to red ah what happened this is my whole life savings you understand i don't have to panic just coming into the trade like a professional look at your strategy so for example the moment we drop the trade signal in the group you just go to it look at it before you enter don't see it's like okay this is a trade that I'm going to make $1 million from, that, I'm going, that is going to change my life. No, just see it as, okay, I just want to make some few profits. And if I'm going to be losing, just let me use some amount I can lose. So, for example, if you're having $50 on your wallet, you can decide that, okay, let me play with this with $5. Like, you put your stop loss to make sure that you're not losing more than $5. So, that is one way to do it. Otherwise, if you know you don't want to lose at all, then don't even attempt to trade that uh don't even have time to jump on the signal so 
if you are jump on this signal, then even by now, you will be a profit. I actually do it on my Binance. I, you know, set up the trade on my Binance using the same strategy because it was so obvious that Ethereum price will come down today. And um, my, that my, my take profit was at uh, 1885. Yeah, so, and my entry point was around 1900 or something like that. So um, that is just all about it, you know, when it comes to you trying to trade very smartly. And yeah, that's where I'm going to be ending it. There will be a recap Hello, of this section. All Hello, right. sir. I'm with a quick you. one. Yeah, yeah. A quick one. Okay, okay. Yeah, from from what I can see from when you drop the signal, I want to get something straight. Okay, okay. When you when you drop the signal, I'm trying to go to the signal. Let me see, let me see, let me see. There was something I was trying to verify. I saw you you uh, yeah, this is it. So you you gave the entry point. One nine five five Yes. Yeah, what's what's that other one below it? OTE. OTE means on the entry, like on the entry that like it means um the moment uh the current uh price of Ethereum. Okay. Okay, like current yeah. market price. Yeah, yes, now, exactly. I'm, Adam. From what I'm seeing, from what I'm seeing, under targets, okay. I can see different different short term. So Yes. Does that mean that we can open like two to three trade on 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 a single? You get my you get yes. my point. Yes, like um, exactly. like, I, like I opened Hello? like I opened the. Uh, let me see. I opened the. Uh, I left the stop loss at two one five and two one five nine point five. Then I opened the take profit for one ninety one ninety five one nine three five. For one, then I can still open another one again for for one nine one nine one zero. Like opening well, different I've, positions. Yeah, I think you should be able to do that. Let me see if it is possible with Max Exchange. We'll try it out together. Or you just said okay. now. Uh yeah. So you know it the sh the short term is like the target means that where you are going to take your profit. I believe you understand that. Yeah. Okay, so like this is what you need to quickly understand. Like immediately a signal is dropped, look at your entry point. I mean your entry point, and look at your stop loss. That is the first two things to, you know, put at your mind. Like you have to let that be at your mind. Like before I even said this trick, what point am I going to enter, and at what point can I just set my stop loss to? So when you get these two things first. Don't let your profit come to your mind first. It might be a form of distraction because even after setting your entry point and your stop loss, you can come back to that trade to set your target. I mean, your take profit. Okay, so let's do it together now. I'll do something. I want to short trade on Max again. Now, my entry point is 1887. So I should look at my stop loss. My stop loss is going to be 1889 again. So then... I see, like, for example, David is dropping a signal for me. Enter now. So what do I have to do? Then I have to look at my stop loss. Just set my stop loss first. 1889. That means immediately the price gets 1889. Then just sell it at loss for me. I don't want to lose more than that. That is my entry point. I mean, that is my entry point and my stop loss. So open shots. I'm into the trade. You know that, like, right now, I've not even set my take profit so i can come back here to set my take profit but you know so, um the reason why i'm actually being very fast so it's making sure that i set my stop loss first is the trade can be very volatile that if i'm not setting my stop loss it, it might have already be uh, draining my money before i set my take profit or before i come back to start editing and things like that so but you know taking profit is my choice I can do that at any time. So, but stop loss is very important so that I don't lose my money to the trade. So right now I can come back, then set my, I can set my take profit. So what is going to be my take profit um, position? So let me just say, I want to take my take profit at one eight, 
one eight eight um five. I don't want to stay too much on the trade. So one eight eight five then done. Because my stop loss is at one eight eight nine, then I confirm. So let's see if it's going to work for me. So right now I'm still saying, oh, I already fill up my order with all the money I have. Uh, let me see if I can open multiple. So let me quickly transfer from my spot X to future again. But don't forget, don't try this thing that I'm trying. I'm just using it as an example. Most of the time, don't you know move a lot of funds to your future trade. Uh, it's very very dangerous. Uh, let me just put in five dollar again. Um, into the future, then entire trade. Yeah. You see, because whenever you are putting money into it, it will always be advising you. So, like for example, right now I want to use it for a long term trade. Then I'm open. The first one I did is called, you know, I'm trying to, you know, set it for a short term. I want to quickly take my profit and daily gets to one eight eight five. It is a very short term trade. So right now I want to use a long term trade. A long term trade that okay, I believe that the price will continue to go down, and when it is going down. That means my prediction is right. I should be able to make a lot of money from it. Same thing, same approach. Make sure that your stop loss is set first. One eight eight nine. Even if it's going to be for longer term, make sure that your stop loss is set first. I don't want to even lose my money beyond this particular uh current price. So then I still open my shorts. Yeah. So now the mid term and long term just have to do with when I want to decide to take my profit. So now I think I should have like two open orders. So yeah, to answer your question, Mr. David, you can always open more than one. Yeah, like I've, I've, seen the... you done, I've seen you done that. I've seen you done that. Uh, all right, perfect. So now to use my um strategy again to you know go for a long term then i'm going to edit my take profit when am i going to take profit i want to take profit predicting that the price will go down to um what which one do we have here so for 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 me time it means that okay i want to predict that the price will go, go to 1700 and that means i'm in for a lot of uh long ride that means if i predict that it's going to 17 i'll be making nine thousand i mean nine dollar profit from a five dollar trade but don't be too greedy this might just be a vivid imagination but you know i can be lucky with it so it doesn't matter because my sell limit or my stop loss is very low so even if you like if it's not coming down to this i know that um for my five dollar i can't be losing more than maximum of maybe 1.5 dollar okay good so i've been able to set up this trade and I can see my position. So the first one is already making profit for me. And yeah, I'm lucky with the first one I set because you know, sometimes you just have to consider yourself being lucky with trade. There is no perfect trader. And there is no one that is not, uh, you can't say that you are not, uh, you are very sure that you are not be losing out on a trade. So right now it is working. And maybe when I'm able to make uh, up to $1 profit, I just flash close and let's see how much we've made uh, this trade because I'm not ready to leave this like this. Uh, I'll do it in my work. Maybe I can just use it for a demo play. Okay. So, well, don't forget, I'm using my real money for this. So, if you know that um, in your scenario, you don't want to lose any amounts, don't even try it at all. But using stop loss, it means that I will not be able to lose. Okay, so now there is an order that I've been filled, which was on profit. I can see it. Let me see where the history is. So one order I've gone on a profit. Yeah, the first one I set at one eight eight five. It has gone for me to be on profit. So now this it remain my. That was for short term. So this is for long term. So like tonight alone, I've been able to trade smartly to have increased my um, profits. I mean, my profit ratio. Don't forget, you can see when I come into the trade tonight, I was just having like, although it's not much, so let's just leave it. But you know, when you are talking about profits, that is just one attribute of being a very, being very good at your trading 
larger this. So, you know, like the trade signal we drop in the group, if you have followed correctly, then definitely you will be a profit even by now. So let me see. I I have okay, sorry. I'm going back to my future trade. So this one is also coming for me to be on profit. So let's see. Maybe I leave it till tomorrow and probably maybe if it it's one eight eight nine back, then I'll be at loss. So but you know if you are doing if you are going for a midterm midterm trade, it is always advisable for you to increase your stop loss. You know, for example, if I know that okay, I want to end I want to win up to nine dollars. I'm supposed to like maybe increase my stop loss to around one thousand nine hundred Ethereum. But even yet, if you want to have a, the most minimal trade risk, just leave it at one eight eight nine. If you are not greedy, see all these zero point five dollar, zero point one dollar. If you are repeating it more frequently, you will notice that you are even making a lot of money. But you have to be very very careful, honestly, on your stop loss. If you know that you want to. You, you can do it in such a way that you can just play with one dollar to make three dollars. If you can repeat it like ten times, that's like thirty dollar in a day, successfully. So um, it is risky, but and you have the time to be doing that. It's fine. So um, except from that, if you just focus on you making sure that you are not losing too much, just enter with stop loss uh, strategy. And there's another strategy of you scaling on a trade, like. Uh, for example, right now, maybe my first, I, I, I try to use a lot of tragedy on a particular trade. I can always come to my big profit. Like, for example, you know, I'm already at profit and I feel like, oh, it's like um, this trade is going to go below 1,700. Maybe it has already reached 1,700. I was supposed to take my profit and I feel like the trade is still going to go below it. I can go further to increase this to 1000 i mean to make it that okay when it reach 1600 that is when it should take profit but don't forget whenever you are doing that to make sure that your the, the method of you not losing too much then in that case if you have increased your your position of taking profit make sure that your stop loss is being reduced if you are shorting so then you have to come back here that okay if you feel like the price is going down so that you come out with profits. Maybe you change your stop loss to one eight eight zero. So that is the method and technique. So even if this is not going to be meet, when you are coming back to stop loss and it is selling at one eight eight zero, you will still be a profit. It is another strategy that you can make use of. Like that means you are scaling through the trade as it is going to or as it is either favoring you or you are losing out. So you can always make use of this is a very powerful function and you have to be careful of using it. Don't use it strongly. It takes profit and stop loss. It's very important on you entering any trade. If you don't know the right take profit and stop loss to use, don't enter the trade so as not to lose your money. So even if it's going to be a volatile trade and you use your stop loss correctly, are not going to be losing out on it so yeah i think uh we've been able to learn some quite uh some things on this so let me see i want to just flash close this okay let me close this i don't want to stay on this i don't like doing giveaway for this exchange guys okay that's good all right okay so then if i've done that i think i've been able to make uh close to one dollar i don't know then let me transfer my money back to my spot account so from future but i don't really like this future at all if you enter it just make sure that you're entering with a very solid mind of making profits all right good so um not really change so much okay so yeah that is it for tonight and yeah i'll open the section for us to you know ask question and interact with ourselves on 
uh, what we've been able to, you know, learn together. Maybe there are some things that you are also going to point out as we've gone through this together. It is all like a free space for all of us to know interact with each other. So if you're having a question or a contribution to what I've been um, shared across, just unmute your mic, then I will uh, call your name. Yeah. So if we have anyone having any a contribution so far or question, just unmute your mic, please. So I'm trying to check. We have a lot of people on this call. Uh, do we have anyone having a question to ask, please? Yes, I have a Hello, Crypto Safu. Good evening All to right. you. Good evening, Starbursy. Pardon my, because I'm in a very noisy environment, so just pardon my, my the noise around. Um, I really appreciate okay. the, the, the lecture so far, like for a, since all these I've been looking for lectures on future trade, because the idea from the onset, when, I was, when I've been investing in crypto is that future trade, you can easily lose your fault, you can easily lose your this, but with your explanation tonight, I, I just felt like, Future trade is not that you can just easily lose your phone. It's just about how far you can manage or set your target about the stop loss and your target. Because most times I do, do I do go on spot. That is what I've been trading okay. all this way. I do go on spot because people who say you do lose your phone, you do lose your phone on future trade. But with, with your lecture tonight, I like I was able to sum up some courage that it's just depend on how far you are able to set up your stop loss and your target and everything. So thank you very much for the beautiful lecture. I per se, I really liked a lot. And I want to appreciate you for that. Thank you. Uh, all right. Thank you so much, Starbucks. Yeah, thank you for for that. So, you know, it is just like um, trying to manage your risk. So uh, um, that was one of the things that I failed to learn when I was going into future. Because the first time I tried future, I was like, oh, my prediction will always be very correct. So let me just take my profit into it. I mean, let me just take my money into it and expect um, double of it. And to my big surprise, uh, my, my, my money was just going down uh, gradually, minute after minute, until it got turned. And then I never, you know, I knew about stop loss, but... There are some times that being too greedy will affect us. So, and if you can just manage your risk, set your stop loss first. That is one of the principles. Set it first before you even enter the trade. That okay, I have. There's no amount of money you have. Set your stop loss first. If you have ten thousand dollars, set it first. That I don't want to lose more than ten dollars. It is very possible. No one. There is no way your money will get you know affected either future. Uh, I don't know any any way you want to either short it or long it. Set your stop loss. Uh, if you are bringing any amount, and that is how people make money from all these uh trade of a thing, they reduce the risk their risk of losing, and you know they give room for taking profit. That is just it. And along the way, you can continue to scale and you know manage your position on that trade. So that is it. I see Emex unmuting his mic the other time. So thank you once again, Starbucks. Emex. Yes, good evening to you, Crypto Safa. Yeah, good evening, Emex. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm great. Thank you. So I have uh, I have two questions. Number one okay, is go that, ahead, uh, please. Yeah, number one is that I want to know the difference between spot trading and then futures trading. That is the All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Can I say the second question, or should I allow you to finish with the first one? Yeah. Yeah. Set, set, you can proceed with the second question. Yeah. The second one now is when you are in the futures trading, like the example that you showed us now. I saw position mm -hmm. size. Yeah. Please, can mm -hmm. you like try to? explain further on that uh, position size issue like i think there are so, so, so many positions size. like how do you if you want to expand your position size size or you want to to, to decrease it how do you go about it 
and what is it all about? Like, I want further explanation about position size. Okay, like, based on how I understand, position size is just like, you know, you are not the only one on the trade. So, um, when you open your trade, either you are longing it or you are shorting it, there is a position created for you. You understand? There is a position you are at. You, like, it, it is... I don't, I don't know how it is showing here. Yeah. But, you know, you have your own position in the trade. And you have your strategy that you have already uh, implemented. So that is why you are having your own position. That is why there is this position size, which is saying that, okay, you've entered the trade with the purpose of making a total number of profits, with the purpose of setting a stop loss at a particular price with the purpose of taking profit at a particular price with an entry point of so 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 amount so these, those details combined together is talking about your position on that trade so and your position size is uh talking about the risk uh limit and management that you have taken on that trade like okay what is the range of the profit that you are probably going to make and what is the range of the loss that might probably occur to your position so those are the information contained on your position size so it is just for you to get more information on that trade so like for example right now i mean my position is open i can see all those information here but already i've closed all the positions so i'm not having any position on this current trade i'm talking about the difference between uh spot trade and um future trade so this is it let me let, let me just quickly explain so spot trade is like okay you just want to enter a trade just like the name at the spot you are not like trying to uh uh trying to long it or you are not trying to do much prediction on that particular trade what you want to be doing on this trade is to buy and sell you just want to quickly buy and sell and even with that you can still use some futures like okay uh making use of the market price a limit price and you know your stop limit price to buy to sell so spot trade is actually just for buying and sell at the spot why future trade is like more or less like you predicting what will happen to a trade like for example the way we started you are predicting that this the, the price of this trade is going to go up and they are predicting that the price of this trade is going to either go down. So that is your own position. And that is what your prediction. That is why it is called uh, future trading. So future trading is all about uh, uh, prediction. So your prediction, yeah, I'm sorry, your prediction of what will happen to the token, I mean, or to the assets in uh, either short term or long term. So that is uh that is it about um uh future trading and spot trading it makes uh does that really answer your question yes yes thank you very much but then I have right. another question. okay okay now you have a we have you said you have a different types of exchanges like binance and mexc exchange right mm -hmm. now uh, yeah we have yeah, if you want to fund your 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 accounts in, for example, in uh, MEXC exchange, uh, could you like uh, fund this through your your crypto wallet, or you have to do key to key? Mm, you know, um, one of the easiest way for me is like using Binance. I would have even used Binance to explain tonight, but just like I said, I'm on VPN. Binance will not work for me on VPN. So let me quickly chat my phone with I get dropped on this call. So um all right, cool. So now um the main importance is just like uh what I want to say. Yeah, just try to use Binance. You have Binance already, right? Yes, yes, I have Binance. Yes, I have Binance. Okay, cool. Yeah. So if you're having Binance, just buy 
Yeah, actually, huh? that's why I'm asking. I have Binance and I've already done uh, P2P to Binance several times. So, but this okay. MEX exchange is like, this. Day, I think this is the second time I'm hearing about it. So, I'm not, I'm not like conversant with that one, but I know everything about Binance. Okay, so you can use your you can use your Binance for spot trading or future trading the same way. But MEX it does like allow you to be able to trade new tokens that are not yet on big exchanges like Binance. So sometimes uh, these tokens um, are always like having volatile trading that can give you good profit. Like for example, if we are having time that uh, probably Bitcoin is going down in uh in price it is always very good attempt you know to short those meme coin because meme coin dump massively during those period so you can make quite some good amount of money uh during that time so, so in essence what you are saying is that sometimes you might miss like signals when it's been dropped you can only find the signal in next mex uh exchange then when it's been dropped when you want to trade on binance you cannot find the the token right yes you can find uh some token listed on uh, that, that some some projects that are not listed on uh binance you won't, um, you won't be able to find it on binance so yeah you are correct so now um assuming you have uh your exchange done on binance and you want to move your funds yeah what you have to do is just click on uh usdt then click on deposit then just your normal way of depositing money into wallet then probably if it is from tron trc20 then you copy it then you go back to your binance and send it to this place so it's just a simple procedure to you know fund your max wallet since you are able to use p2p on binance so that saves you some stress rather than you using your card which is going to be taxing you and you know taking you through rigorous steps yeah so that is it you, yeah, thank you. you are welcome. You are welcome, Mimix. Um, so um, we have everyone here tonight. So please, do we have anyone with question again, or we are good to go for tonight? If you have any, if you have any, if you have any question for us, just unmute your mic. Then yeah, I will know that you are about to speak. Okay. All right. So good evening, uh, Biswala. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Good evening, Crypto Safa. Yeah, thank you. Welcome to our space tonight. <laughs> well done. Thanks for the class today. Though I didn't join on time, but you did well. Um, I want to thank contribute a little bit to the spot and future trade. For beginners, okay. I always advise them not to trade futures because the risk is mm. higher compared to spot trading. Now, in spot trading, for example, you can decide to buy a coin of $10, like maybe Dodge of $10. Mm. The only thing that can happen in spot trading is that maybe if Dodge coin drops in price, your price will drop maybe like $9 or so, but you still have some substantial amounts of the money you use for the spot trade. But now, coming down to futures, if you long that Dodge in futures, and unfortunately, the same short, you might actually be born to your account. And if, unfortunately, you are on cross, even the other available balance will go with it. So the, the risk in spot trade and then future trade, on future trade is very high and you can lose your whole entire money. But on spot trade, it's only the decrease in the price that will show the difference in the money you have in spot trade. You still have your money there, but just a little drop due to the drop in the price of the particular coin you bought at that point in time. So I think that is that for the spot and uh, future trade. I just wanted to add a little bit to it. And I always advise people, don't go. If you're not an expert in future trade, don't go. Because your whole money can go in a sequence. In a sequence. So for that, that being said, uh, Kuto Safu, who, are we going to have signal class here or what? Uh, signal class on what? As in, for this kind of trade now, will you be having a signal for it or just to Yes, yes. 
Yes, we can. You know, we don't want to like um start dropping signal if we don't have well, a lot of people. Well, when they are not yet like, familiar with what it's all about, yeah, I understand. Exactly. I'm only asking ahead. That yes, we will be we will be having it. We'll be, we'll be having in future because to be honest, uh, uh, this week alone, I've been able to work on a lot of signals that really work fine, like for for me personally. So, but you know, I'm being careful. Like I don't want to take. You know, it is a very hard responsibility to take people through trade and make sure that we uh, all come out. At the very moment they have any loss, you're in trouble. People will come for your. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is the problem. So you know, like. This morning, I right. enter some <laughs> mix. Yeah, yeah. So, but you know, what you said was so, so on point. And yeah, thank you so much. Uh, hello, yeah. yeah, hello, Starbucks. Yeah. yeah. I want to make um, one or two comments about um, what um, Bissola said. Actually, when okay. I started crypto in um, 2019, slash 2019, one of the greatest fear in my mind was that I do not go on um, fisher trade. You would burn your money, you would burn your everything. Mm -hmm. But I think one of the one of the things people don't usually take notice about this stop loss. From your explanation tonight and from everything you have taught us tonight, I, I think there is a way you can minimize your losses using the stop loss. If you have a target for your stop loss, I think there is a way you can minimize your losses. So it will not be as if you are losing all your money if you are you are actually using yeah, risk management. So that is point. just what I want to contribute because for me the the fear of you can burn all your money on um, future trade has been in me since 2019 and obviously I've never tried future trade before. I only go on spot, but with your with your lecture tonight is just very beautiful and you make us understand that if there is a way you can minimize your losses, just. You actually you did this more than two times, and I, I I was going through, and it's it's very very easy to understand that using stop loss will make you minimize your losses. And to me, I felt like stop loss um, future trade is not that you know really really what people usually think about that you can lose all your funds within a ticking of a line and this. So that's just what I just want to contribute to the future free. Where I agree with uh that as a beginner. You can just go on spot, you know. But to me, I just felt like using the spot and uh, the stop loss will minimize will minimize your losses. So that's my thanks. Thank you. All right. You know, um, thank you so much. Uh, at, at the same time, we need to consider the fact that there is uh something again that she made mention of, like uh, Bisola, like made mention of the isolated mode and the cross margin mode if you see that i was actually not making emphasis on that but you know when you are using the isolated mode it is much more better than cross mode the cross mode may make it work in such a way that it even goes into the remaining balance you have uh on your future uh wallet in order to be able to you know increase your um i don't want to say it um any any liquidation in, in order to increase your liquidation position yeah like that so for me i don't like this cross mode just use your isolated mode to minimize risk uh as much as possible so but you know in our next class we'll be talking and discussing more on it and we might probably you know show how it works as well so yeah let me go back to our discussion but you know the contribution from both Side is something worth noting at the same time. So, Crypto Maniac, you unmuted your mic. Uh, you have something for us? Yes, I just uh, good evening. I just want to chip in <laughs> something to the discussion from um Star Bossy and Bisola, and I think it's okay. they are both right actually. But I just want to chip in something also that I don't think there's any rule that says everyone must try everything in this space. We can actually have the knowledge. So if the uh, the scope that says sticking to what you are doing that works for you should be the game. Because Starbucks, who has been good in sports over time, that's been working for him, might choose to want to venture into future because of this life. And without trying to put in more practice, and you understand, 
I end up getting it mm. uh, getting it wrong. So if you have a strategy that has been working for you, yes, it will be very advisable to just stick to it while you get the knowledge along the line to uh, to be used when necessary. Thank you. Yes. So thank you so much, uh, Crypto Maniac. Yeah, that is it. You can see that um, um, it is so much important, like to 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 precious the money you are having in crypto. Like, see it as a as 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 your you know your last hope. Just saying. So when you see that your last hope, you don't tend to you know take too much high risk on trades. Like for example, you see what I did tonight. I'm not actually putting all my baskets, I mean, all my egg into one basket. I have to like share my fund from spot to future. So the same way, if you want to try it out, you can just try, um, you know, try to understand carefully what future is about. Maybe you can just try with, two, you, you can start with $2, it is fine. $3, $5, it is fine. It, will, it is dollar. Like when you enter the future trading, it is not going to reject it. So, um, yeah so try to minimize if you if you come into into trading without being too greedy you actually make money that is one thing to consider you know because just like i said at the end of the day if you are able to make three dollar profit 10 times in a day that is 30 dollar 30 dollar covers for a lot of things and if you look at the risk you are trying to take it is very very minimal you want to lose one dollar to make three dollar it is something very minimal so but you now bringing all your life savings like com coming into future that okay you've understand it and you are more confident about it and yeah this is where you are going to make all the money you are expecting from that is where you are going to get it wrong because you'll be emotionally attached to it and it can really lead to uh bad ending um. Yeah, sorry. I want to I want to chip in something because most of the time when we have a volatility in Bitcoin, there's always this report <laughs> on so 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 big amounts of money were shut down on people. And I want to believe is it that they don't have this same knowledge of stop loss and all these things, or something will go wrong somewhere? Can you share more light on that? Yes. Yeah, so see. Let me tell you something. It's because they don't really have knowledge about it. Like, you know, the first time I lost huge amount on crypto. See, I've been doing crypto very well. Like, this is real life. And this is what happened. Like, I lost on thousands of dollars in hundred. Yeah, in hundred thousands of dollars. I moved all my money from spot to wallet. I took it to Binance that have faithful day. And you know, I behave so foolishly that uh, um, I don't even know what came over me. Then I enter into spot trading and future trading without setting any stop loss. That, okay, within 30 minutes, if I go to the bedroom to take my bets and come back, I, whatever happens, I just leave the trade. Before I come back, it was not even up to 30 minutes. Everything has gone down. And, you know, that is just like a giveaway to liquidation that might have happened on that day. So, you know, if they are bringing about that news, there are a lot of people that are like me then and are still like me up to now without that knowledge that are still going to continue to lose on that because a lot of people don't understand how this thing works. You know, it is more or less like technologically inclined that you have to know that, okay, this is the button I have to click. This is where I have to position myself. This is the things I have to do. Some people just download the app and feel like, okay, let us start printing green line. And when it goes up, I start making my money. That is the understanding of some people. Some people are very good in business, but when it comes to trading, that is where the problem starts coming for them. So to answer your question, such happens. And they, they, they've set it in such a way that such people will continue to lose. You will see that there is always no you like you don't really get a lot of lectures about things like future trading, about forest trading. People that know a lot about this thing, they tend to, you know, uh take money from people to teach. And even if they are teaching you, they don't really tell you the truth about it. They just try to waste your time and continue to give you non financial advice on it. So that is it. 
So, um, crypto maniac, uh, does it really answer your question? Yeah, sure. Very well said. All right, good. So, I think we should be rounding up off for tonight. And I don't know if we have anyone on. Okay, Donamis of Web3. Sure. Yes, sir. Good evening. Uh, yeah. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much. I I really, really appreciate the last thing that you said concerning if you don't understand the features, you can start with two, two, three. You know, um, I heard you said, uh, you said um, someone can make like three dollars in a trade. Someone can make like three dollars in a trade. Please, uh, uh, like how much amount of money as in dollars that if you enter a trade, you can. You are you are sure that you can make three dollars? How much amount of money, please, sir? I just want to be enlightened in that way, sir. Thank you. Okay, you're 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 welcome, uh, Dynamis. See, um, there is not like uh, confirmation, and uh, there is nothing like uh, you being sure on the trade, rather than you being sure of what you can lose. You understand? You being sure of what you can lose, give you a leverage on, uh, and it gives you more room to make profit. So if you come into a trade, if you're having, um, for example, I'm just saying, if you're having five hundred, and you're coming into the trade to make sure that you are not losing, uh, more than ten dollar, and you setting that, that means that okay, your five hundred dollar possibility of getting low to four ninety dollar but with that ten dollar you want to make additional ten dollar so you have two possibility is that you go out with the trade with four ninety dollar or five hundred and ten dollar so that is what you can set as your possibility i mean as your probability to enter the trade so when you set that goal clearly then you can be sure that okay you can continue to repeat it as you like maybe you tried the first time it works, you are able to gain $10. Then you move to the next round again of you making sure that you are only risking $10 again. You understand? So you can continue to repeat the process. If you repeat it 10 times, maybe out of 10 times, if you are a good trader, you will lose three times and win seven times. That is always what is very sure for a professional trader. You will win seven times and lose three times. Because whenever you are losing up to three times, just leave the trade. It is, not more, it is no longer a trade that is designed for you to win for that day. Leave it. So don't go and overstretch yourself. You will always find a trade that will give you profit. Maybe another day. Don't forget that you are bringing the money from maybe whatever thing that you've done so, uh, uh, into the trade. So don't get to drain yourself on a particular trade. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. So, you know, talking about you using a little amount is just for you to test it out and understand better before you bring in larger amounts. And even you bring in larger amounts, don't, don't be greedy. That is my own principle. I was able to, you know, multiply. I used to do it frequently, like making sure that uh, I can be making $33. And you know, I can be making three three dollars, and I can make sure that I make ten of it in a day. So I just make sure I focus on the trade, and I I can actually read uh, market movement based on news, and I have different sources to get my information correctly from. Then I just do it. It's taking lower risk. That is one of the best way, you know, to just enjoy yourself on a trade. So that is it. Um, well, I mean, do you have a question for us? I think you've been trying to speak. You were muted because there was a lot of background noise at your end. I good to go now. You can unmute and um uh, speak before we wrap it up. Emily, do you have any question for us? No question. question. No, no. Oh. <laughs> Oh, right, all right. So, 
Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, this is a recorded. Um, this is a recorded section. It will be made available on our YouTube uh, channel tomorrow. Please help us uh, do a favor of trying to, you know, give us feedback, comment on our YouTube videos, and try to subscribe as well on our YouTube uh, channel. So the details are on the group. And yeah, we have an exciting news that we are bringing up, but we are cooking something actually. So, but let us cook it finish. When we cook it finish, I believe everyone here will be excited of what I'm bringing on into the community. So it is something exciting and yeah, everyone will really uh, like it. But uh, let's try to finish up with it first and see how, um, you know, how how it all turned out to be but we are very positive about it that everyone here on the group will like it and yeah it is just one of the things we are doing to you know continue to bring the best out of our community growth and also to support each other so you know everyone contribution tonight have been so so on point starting from david um let me screenshot the this i'm going to give everyone shout outs everyone have participated very nicely so we all deserve a shout out tonight so yeah um from david to this all i met star bossy crypto maniac dunami is over free emily and Olayemi. yeah thank you guys so um something skipped my mind maybe if i remember i'm going to drop it if i had to like join a uh, crypto software i mean a crypto software i mean just try to message at Trevor Tech to join. That is where we are trying to build a strong social community for the platform uh, with the support of everyone and you get rewarded for it um, if, you're an, if you are part of the crypto software I mean, So yeah, just message at Trevor Tech and yeah, I think here we are going to be giving it a wrap up here and yeah, let's call it a day everyone. So good night. Uh, okay, yeah. Before I say good night, sorry. Um, we are having our Twitter space on Saturday. Yeah, on Saturday we are going to be having our Twitter space. So go to our Twitter page, set a reminder to join, uh, so that you don't miss out on that. So yeah, that will be the end of tonight's show. Good night, everyone. Bye.